crazy one. Do you know what? I don't even know what time it is. It's another day. Um, it's Friday the 7th of October. But until I come across the... I won't be able to tell you the day. I mean the time. God, I told you the day. Oh. I am... Hold on. The time is... 14.26, 2.26 p.m. Because I know some people don't know the 24-hour clock. Um, I'm like four hours-ish into my vaccinations. I am very tired. Uh, and I, I think I walked around the shop since the well. I just think... <laughs> I don't know. I literally don't know. But I am tired. I don't know if I have any other symptoms. Um, I feel nauseous, but I have just eaten. Um, I do have pain in my right rib. Roll down. Oh, my stomach feels really tight, actually. But I don't know if I have any other symptoms. I'm cold, but it's cold today, so I don't know if it's one of the symptoms. See, that's the problem. Um, I've been home about 20 minutes, I don't know. I got on wetter than normal. So it's a good job I've decided not to walk the dog. I'm just too tired. Like, I think the main thing that I've got is extreme tiredness. And who wants to be tired? Um, what is this? So, I don't even know what I was going to say next, so I'm just getting distracted. I ain't got anything for you. Do you want some dog food? I just had some peri peri chicken thighs because that's the only flavour that they had left. And normally I get drumsticks and I normally get barbecue. I have had, I think I've had Chinese, but I prefer barbecue. But the only option was, was peri peri. So she's had some of the. and chicken and stuff off it this might be a long video so please be prepared because I'm I'm definitely feeling the effects of that um, one of them or both of them I'm just I just can't get moving so I've been to Aldi and Asda I haven't gone to B&M I was like do I need to go to B&M is there anything I want and I literally could not think like I was just like my brain was just like, I couldn't think, so, I mean, it saved me money anyway, I think I've gone £8 over my budget, I think Aldi was like 31 or something, or £30 something, and Asda was 78 but I have got, like, a, I've got, like, um, oh, you can't see it, but I've got, like, a dish here, do you know, like, a pasta dish, pasta bowl, penguin pasta bowl, so it's got, it's white and it's got like an illustration of penguins on with a Christmas tree on both sides. So there's six penguins and a Christmas tree. It's like very subtle. I will show it to you when I get to it. I'm probably going to have to put stuff in it though because I'm probably going to run out of space, aren't I? Obviously. So I got that and then I got what they call a noodle bowl. And it looks like, you know, those microwavable soup bowls with an handle. It looks like that, so I got my dad that, and it's as it was as the zone, and it was on offer for fifty p. So he took that, and he took some bananas, and I got him this meat feast melt thing from Aldi. It's got loads of different meats on, like salamis and stuff, and there was loads of meat on it. Actually, I was surprised, and cheese, and you put it in the microwave. So that's what's missing. But I got this bowl, which was like three quid, so it would have been seventy five. I think there's something else. I don't know. So I'm gonna. You can't stay there. You're in my way. You are in my way. Yes, you are. You're going to move your cute little face. Cute little face. Your fluffy body. You can't stay there. No, you're not getting anything. No, you've had some. Give me a little bump. Right, you stay there then. No, you're not having anything. No, I told you. Because the Aldi bag's nearer to being over this side this week. I'll start with the Aldi. 
Um, so I'm going to even out the bag cheaply. No, there's nothing in that bag for you. No, there isn't. I know what's in that bag. I packed that bag, so I know. Get your little face out of that bag. I'll probably have to put the light on to film when I film what I've got. I know there's nothing in this bag for you. Definitely is not. Oh, so I am struggling a little bit. But yeah, it could be worse. I mean, I could wake up tomorrow feeling horrendous. But I'm hoping I don't get any effects. Your body should get used to it, shouldn't it? Like I've, this is like this is the second time I've had this one, and I've had four in total now. So, where's your variety bag? Oh my god, I'm definitely struggling here. <laughs> oh god, am I going to be like this all day? Like where's your variety bag? I can't even think what to tell you, like what to say, like. I've been filming a vlog at the same time. I mean, I've, I was rambling on in it before. I mean, hopefully I can edit it and put a vlog together. Um, hopefully. God, I'm so tired. It's definitely the vaccination. I remember last time I was... Like, all of them actually have made me tired. Because I've had two variants of the, the thing, haven't I? I did prefer the Pfizer one because I did I did get unwell, but I can't remember how unwell. But I don't think I felt as unwell as the AstraZeneca. Oh, I just think today's gonna be. It. I think it's just gonna be a very long day today, and I didn't buy an energy drink, and I probably should have bought an energy drink, but. No, I didn't. I mean, the rain pretty much stopped. And it's pretty much stayed stopped, so... If I hadn't had the vaccination, I probably would have got round out of it quicker and I'd be able to go OUT with the DOG. I mean, I don't know how to spell that out. Um, but I came home and I was like, I met my dad and I was like, can you just take her a 10 minute walk? Absolutely not. I got sulking this morning. I went, I've been sulking on walks. So he wouldn't take her out even just round the block. So. She's probably going to drive up the wall because she's going to want to do something and I'm just going to be there like, yeah, I'm just, I can't. <laughs> no, literally, I have no energy at all. Like, I'm just struggling. No, you're not having anything. I told you. You're having zilch from me. Because you've had stuff already. Haven't you? Yes, I have. Fibre one cake bars that I've been loving, the strawberry shortcake, are not on offer anymore. It pees me off when that happens. And then I'm like, I should have stopped up. But I'll, sometimes, some things are on offer for ages. Do you know, like, a ridiculous amount of time. But these weren't. I don't know why. Maybe they're just, they're just super popular. Who knows? I wish I had a few boxes in, in reserve. So yeah, again in Asda, I didn't think I had like a lot of shopping. Like I knew it, like I thought 60, 70 pounds because 70 was like, no, you're not having anything. I keep telling you, you can stand and look at the drawer as much as you want. You're still not having anything. No, you're not. No, you can give me that one. And it's not going to work. I don't even know what I'm saying. The dog is distracting me. Oh, and I can't put this up Sunday because I've mentioned where I've been today. 
Oh wow. Well. It'll go to another point, I'm sure. Because normally I've got this up as my Sunday video, but it doesn't seem to matter at the moment anyway. So Asda was 78.27 and Audi was 31. 17. I don't know if I'm going to get all this shopping out, to be honest. I feel like I've got more than normal. I don't even know where they're going to go. Oh, God. So I think this is going to explain why they're shopping with more money. Because I seem to have got more. Got some cold orange Lucas Ace because it's free for two. I think I've got, I've got a bit of one that left in the fridge, I think. I got some oyster sauce, like that's going to last more than one meal because I'm making something that has it in the recipe. So, I wish these Orange Lucas Aids were chilled because the way I feel, I could definitely drink one. I've got like a tiny bit left of one that I'm going to drink now. It's not even fizzy anymore, it's flat. All I've had to drink today was some water this morning and I didn't have a lot. I didn't have a tiny bit either. And protein shake. I had um, about five mouthfuls of water before I went out. I can't remember if it was when I first time, the first time I went out or when I went out again. And I had a little bit of this orange leucoside this morning as well. So having a drink might make me feel better. I mean, maybe not that little drink, but... Oh God, I'm just struggling. Right, what do I need to take out? Where am I gonna put that? See, I'm just running out of space. I've got a ball on here. Um. Oh god, I really don't know where I'm going to put it. I've just seen what I've got and how it will taste so far. I'm going to try my hardest to make it work, but I cannot make any promises. I'm always human. I don't know. Who's losing the world to live right now because I'm just tired. And it's not even normal tiredness. Like, you know, oh, I'm tired, I want to go to bed. It's a different tiredness. <sighs> I'm trying to get all my shopping out. I don't know if this is going to be doable. I'm going to have to, oh. I don't even want to, I can't even be bothered with this. Like, <laughs> and then I'm going to have to put it away. Just losing the will. It's just getting harder, isn't it? I mean, well, you don't know, but it's very difficult. <laughs> I'm trying to, I don't know, make space. Oh, I do have, I have pain in my right rib, but also like in the stomach, like top stomach towards my right rib. I think my left rib's hurting a little bit as well. Oh my right hip, hip rib, oh, rib is really bad. Oh. I might get changed into like super cozy stuff as well when I've done all of this. I mean I don't even know where I'm going to put that, oh my god. I'm trying. <laughs> It's just very difficult with the way I'm feeling. I know it's the vaccinations. I mean, I don't even know which one it is. It might just be a combination of them both. I don't mind this if this is all I'm going to get and I'm not going to get, like... What's it called? I don't even know what it's called. Oh, my God. Like, sick. Like, if this is it, then fine. Oh 
indoors from today, Anna. Are you going to get some out of the bag from here? Or are you just getting in the way? Hey, you're cheeky, aren't you? You're not having anything. No, I've told you 500 times. Another thing that got it up right to 78, I got some treat hay, the hay fever things that I got the other day because I think I've either got one left for tomorrow or two. So they're four pounds, so that and the ball is seven pounds. So it would have been 70 ish if I hadn't have gotten them, but I needed them so. So it's not something I typically always get, so that's why it's a little bit higher than normal. Do you know what? A three packet of white onions. Because I was going to get them in Aldi. Oh god. I hope that's not split. No. Well, it doesn't look like it has. I was in Aldi and I was going to get the onions. And last time I got a pack of three in there, they were on offer for 59. And I think they were either 69 or 79. I was like, oh, I'll get them from Asda because I needed white and red. And in Asda, the white pack was. 89 and the red pack was 89 oh was it this 79 i think it was slightly more in asda but i didn't realize otherwise i would have got them in aldi but um i got two loose white onions and it they came to like 19p so if you can get loose always get loose if you want like you sometimes have to dig around for bigger ones and these are they're not tiny but they're not medium and they're not small but they'll do because i need i've run out of i completely run out of onions um, but I should have got a third one actually, but it doesn't matter. And then I had to get a pack of red because they didn't have loose red ones. Where have I put them? Have I not put them out? Oh god, I don't know where I'm going to put them if I haven't put them out. Where are the red onions? Oh, they're there. So, I would have saved a little bit getting the packs, but obviously if you can get loose, get loose because it just seems to be much, much cheaper. I don't know where I'm going to put that, that or that. <laughs> and... Where's my oh I'm on my phone. What time is it? Oh, it's that time. Um, I've been trying to get cornflour in Asda for weeks. I finally found where it's meant to be on the shelf. It's not there. Didn't see any now, dear. And I need some cornflour for one of the recipes. Now, I'm probably going to do one of the recipes Sunday. So it'll be Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um. So I need to get some cornflour, like I don't have any. It's one of those things that, like some people go through loads of cornflour, but sometimes I, I'll have cornflour for ages and ages and ages. But I know there are some people that just go through it like crazy, but some people use it all the time. I don't. But it's handy to have, because obviously now I don't have it, I need it. And I've looked a couple of times for it. I don't know where I'm going to bloody put this. Put that there. The Audi's kind of mixed in with the... Well, the Asda's like very close to the Audi, but I, I, I just don't know where everything's going to go. Got some broccoli and I don't... Oh, gosh, see if it'll stay on there. I mean, something's going to bloody fall over, I know it. And where am I going to put that? Oh my god. I've got about two things to get on the side and I've literally... I don't know where I'm going to put it. If that weren't so big, I could get it there. This is an interesting video, isn't it? Oh, she's just moaning because she can't get stuff out. Right, I need that. need one of them or that one? Where's that gonna go? Is that gonna fit on? Just about. So I've got one thing left to get on. I mean, I should get a medal for this. Have I done it? So in the freezer there's a bag of ice. Apparently I didn't actually need one. I thought I did, but I think I've got more than enough to last me at least this week, if not longer. But there you go. And there's orange ice lollies. I always get the same six pack. Sometimes, you know, I'll, every now and then I'll be like, oh, I'll get something else and I'll change it up completely. Like the other week, well, six weeks ago, I think I got a, a four pack of Mars ice cream lolly things, ice cream bars. They were on offer and they're really stunning. Um, but I typically get the Asda orange juice lollies and I've got these for years. Um, 
They're just refreshing. And I told you that my dad took some bananas. I got him a bunch and me a bunch. I think mine's slightly bigger. I think I've got one more banana and I think mine is slightly longer. Not by much. Um, he's also took that noodle bowl, which is really a soup bowl, in case he ever has soup or anything that he wants to cook in his microwave at work. Um, there's toilet rolls on the stairs. And I think I've said everything. As you can tell, I'm over the moon about everything. <laughs> I'm honestly just struggling. I'm really struggling. So, should I put the light on? I mean, can you see that? Yeah, you can. So, from Aldi, and I've told you how much it is, but it was 31 17 I got a vitamin water in apple and elderflower. They had a berry one, but it was raspberry. And I know they do an orange one, which is nice, but they didn't have that, because I think that's the one I would have got. So, I saw these Jaffa Ween cake bars. Blood curdling black currant flavour. Anything black currant flavoured is my kind of thing. So I don't think I'm gonna save them for Halloween. Then normally I get my dad, you know those cheese biscuits. I can't even remember the brand. But I saw these in Aldi. And I thought he might like these. I mean he might not, but it's something different. I also picked this up for him, but I might want to try it on a piece of toast. Maybe not a full slice of bread, but farmhouse apple and cider pate. I don't know. I remember when I was younger, like before my mum left, on a Sunday night, they'd have like pate on toast. And I don't think I ever really liked it. But anyway, there is some cheap pate in the fridge that I got him from Asda the other week. And I was going to get him like an Audi cheap hole. But then I spotted this. There were other flavours, but I thought, I don't want to look at it because what if I get conflicted and don't know which one to get? I probably won't like it, but I know he will like it. Now, one of the meals that I'm making, I need this. Now, they did have a 3% one, but I couldn't work out how much price difference it was, and I couldn't be bothered looking, so I just got the 5% one, but I could have got the 3% fat. It would have been a little bit healthier. I mean, this is meant to serve for people, the meal I'm making, so you're not going to get much meat anyway, because I think it's a 500 gram pack. Then I got this for my dad. There was loads of stuff and I was looking. I was seeing if there was something I wanted. But I just didn't feel like, oh God. I'm just destroying everything now. Because I've literally, I dropped something and it's caused like a domino effect. I mean, I don't really need to pick up. I mean, all, well, this stuff needs moving because it doesn't even belong in the kitchen. Um, yeah. It's like an accident waiting to happen. Anyway, I saw this and I thought, oh, you might like this. So it's Mexican style pork loin steaks with a bread, bread and tortilla crumb and a sachet of tomato salsa. I had to like pause then because I thought it said bread and butter. I'm like, why would it have bread and butter on it? So I got in that. That's for two meals. It's, there's a quite a lot in there. I mean, it's not really showing. So then they had tons of protein mousses in, chocolate mousse. Do you know what? The other night, I think I was writing my shopping list at like midnight last night. And for the life of me, I could not remember how to spell moose. <laughs> so I just put moose as in the animal. Do you know M W O S E? <laughs> because I just couldn't remember the spelling. And that's what it's like at midnight or whatever it was. It was after midnight. That's I just wrote moose as in the animal. So I don't think they actually sell them there, but you know. <laughs> then I got some no stock pots in vegetables i almost vegetable not vegetables i almost got the aldi on i don't think if i've had the aldi on oh yeah i have um but i just something made me get the no ones then i got this herb dip garlic and herb it's like 50 something p and like i've heard people like say it's amazing 55p and it is quite big i don't know if it's going to be amazing but i thought i'll get it anyway Oh, now I've got the other one. I don't want this to bloody break. I can't show it yet because it's part of the Asda shop, but my battery's now on 20%. Um, tin of chopped tomatoes. Because I didn't go around the cupboards looking what was empty, but if you remember last week, I bought about three or four tins of chopped tomatoes and I've used them, which means there's only one in the cupboard, so I needed to restock. I also got a tin of beans because my dad's opened a tin of beans and I don't know if there's one in the cupboard or not, but I always try to have at least one tin of beans. I try to have two because sometimes, you know, like one will get eaten, 
and then you'll go to the, the cupboard and like if you've not got a second one you're like oh god I want beans but there isn't any so I always try and have two in I don't necessarily want more in because sometimes no one has beans for weeks and weeks so I do try to have a couple of tins in then I managed to get caramel chocolate pudding now I, I could have gone over the top and got seven but I got three and I got one chocolate because they seem to put out a lot of vanilla and chocolate but there's not many caramel but I do think there's people going in and getting the caramels then I've got a tin of kidney beans because I always like a tin in the cupboard in fact it would appear I've picked up peeled plum tomatoes because the label's identical and I'm an idiot there you go another tin of chopped tomatoes I don't even want them I mean I'll probably end up using them like if you you can just put them in the pan and chop them anyway with your, your spatula um, tin of chopped tomatoes again and then I picked this up I do like a barbecue chicken pizza but I'd not really like do you know like people who love pe pizzas and they have them like once a week I'm not a pizza fan like I don't mind it I don't like really like cheese I like ones where it's got a nice base and a little bit of cheese um, but I thought I'm not going to feel up to cooking I'm not even hungry like I've only had a bit of chicken and I just feel full I'm not going to feel up to cooking it might be horrendous I might like it I mean how much was it I'll look at the receipt but I do like barbecue chicken so I'm just going to give it a go um, it was only 2 19 so I'm not expecting it to be any good to be honest because 2 19 I don't think it'll be good but you know I'll pop, I'm only going to have half anyway and the rest can go in the fridge and if like at lunchtime tomorrow I want a pizza pe pe piece of pizza I can do so I saw these dirty rice and so I got that and it's you can read it Rice, black beans and mixed peppers spiced with smoky chipotle chilli. I thought that's handy to have in the cupboard. I like to have things like this in the cupboard. Because, you know, sometimes you're like, oh, I don't know what I want. And you're walking through, like, your fridge and cupboards and you might find some chicken. And you're like, oh, what do I want with the chicken? And you're like, oh, I don't know. This is ideal, like, half a packet of this or a third of a packet. And maybe you could put something else with it. I don't know. It depends what you want. It's limited edition, but I thought that sounds really nice. It's the sort of thing that I like. And then, oh, I'll get it because I can't lean over without knocking stuff off. They also have this Asian-style sticky rib rice. A sweet and sweet, a sweet five spice flavour with soy, garlic and ginger. Very much up my street again. There's a pack of um, Palma Violets there. Now we're on to Asda, so we'll go here. This is These are what I keep dropping. You can see, like, that's dented. I dropped that one first. Do an offer for 150. I wanted to get a soup for like lunches and stuff. Um, I only have half a time. Sometimes I might have like crackers with it or a slice of toast. I like dipping toast into soup. If you've not tried it, try it. So I've got the classic chicken because it's one of my favourites, but also sauce of tomato and basil. But I think I'd choose that over that at the moment. But different weeks, different moods, isn't it? So yeah, they're an offer for 150. I've still got half a thing left in that I opened from last week. Do you know the chicken schwitzel and white bean? Something like that. It's not as tasty as you'd imagine, so I've still got that. I might have it as my lunch tomorrow. I don't know if I said the chilli, but I've got chilli there. Then I got a small loaf of bread, because we've still got two-thirds of a loaf of bread, because my dad stopped eating toast for breakfast and sandwiches for lunch. And I've had that loaf of bread over a week and a half. So I've just got this one. It's smaller pieces, but if he wants more bread, he can. It's just... I don't want a full loaf of bread wasting. And you don't save much by in the small loaf. I just didn't want to get a big one. Then I got the Asda's own dentist sticks. I mean, I can't even be bothered. I mean, unless there's some other ones. Yeah, they actually. So I got Wag Tasties, which she's had before. I don't think she's got any of them left. And then I got these Buffalo stick things. I mean, don't know what to say about them. So these were back on offer, but they were more than normal. They were 150 normally they dropped them to 125 And I do believe out of the ones that they've got in, these are my favourites. So I've got some birthday cake ones. I only opened a box of these yesterday, so I've, I think I've stuck up four left, but I thought I'd get some. I got him anchor butter today because it was £2.5 on offer, as the zone's one ninety nine. so I just got him that. There's some basic Panadol because they didn't have the normal Panadol. I got this body lotion. Do you know body lotions are getting so expensive? The one that I got the other week is like six fifty a summer. And then the do you know the one that I used to get all the time, the Nivea 
in the blue bottle with the pump lid it's like several quid so i was looking for something that was good but cheap and this was like less than three pounds i don't know why it's for normal to dry skin they did have a dry to very dry one which was two pounds something more so i just got that i mean it might be okay it might not garlic i can't remember what it's called at first this is my hay fever tablets that i've been getting see i didn't need to get one of these so my shopping would have been a bit cheaper again but i've got one in the cupboard and i like to have them in because sometimes i'll have it for lunch sometimes i'll like have it as part of a, like an evening meal so i thought if i eat the one that i've already got i won't have one and i might want a second one you know not the same day but that week so i got that in i got the cheapest sweet corn that they do because i need it for a recipe and what's the point in getting like an expensive one when i'm pretty sure it's just going to taste the same and it's like 38p and i think the next one was 50 summer so i got my dad last week the asda's essential dark chocolate and then this week I got in the Asda's normal one. Now this is twice the size. It's a lot thicker. I know it, like it's 200 grams. I don't know how much that other one was. But you might like this one. I thought I'd get into it different instead of getting in like the 38p one. This is 50% cold cold like anyway. I bet it's the same chocolate but this is just a thicker bar. I'll have to ask him. I got myself. Ooh. Oh god, this is just. I can't even pick the other thing up, but I knew this would happen. I got a four pack of twelves, even though I've still got about three in the fridge. Three red onions. I got some oyster sauce, which took some tracking down. Then I realised. Well, I was looking in other aisles, and then I was like, I'm sure I'm going to get it in the Chinese section. They didn't do an Asda's own brand, so this was two pound. I need a salsa for a recipe and I was going to get a fresh one and I've passed this I thought I'll put this in the trolley in case I forget to look for a fresh one good job I did because I did forget the fresh one I've got two tins of the hot dogs well jars because you only get five she's not got any at all so she's, she needs seven um, so I've obviously had to get two I got myself sweet and Juicy melon and grapes. Oh, this video is getting long. Well done if you, you're sticking with this. Um, just fancied that. I've been enjoying two slices of turkey bacon on a protein bagel. It's just life. Um, it's been really nice, enjoyable. Um, so that's why I've got them. I'll probably have it back next week. Um, oh, I've got goosebumps. Like, do you know when you get goosebumps and you don't feel well? Like, not just goosebumps because, like, whatever. My stomach's gone really tight and I've got pain in my ribs. So, I'm just getting some kind of side effects. Let's keep going. Richmond meat flip flavour. <laughs> Richmond meat... Oh, my God. Richmond meat free sausages. They're on offer. You saved something. I don't know. I can't remember. Um, because I've got four meals and then I've got five with the pizza. Um, so this is for those days that, whatever, I can't even think. I'll probably end up putting four in the freezer though, so when I've opened them. Then for another meal, I needed 450 grams of mince. They only had 400. I can't remember what the next size one up is. But I, I thought I'd rather have less than too much. But then again, I could have filled some of the other one. Because it's meant to be four meals with it. And then oh, it just gets less. But as to essential lemons for hot honey lemon and ginger. It's all really good crisp because there's some, for some reason it just seems to be what I want at the moment. I got my dad some cool tortilla, tortilla chips. Because the cheese vegan ones that I've been getting him have gone up to full price. Doritos like 160 i was mindful of the shopping so i got them for like 75p bacon potatoes they're in that dish i mean you can't even like you see part of the pattern there it's got the same pattern oh god on twice so once there and once on the other side it's very subtle but that's for me so four bacon potatoes two white onions broccoli i got some cheese twist for my dad then i got one of these i should have got more because this is probably my favourite one. It's bad at the moment. Because you know my taste seems to change. Because it used to be apple and elderflower. And that's my least favourite now. So sparkling apple and mango fizzy water. Sparkling. The protein bagels. 
you know the protein bagels with the um, turkey bacon comes to around 20 grams of protein? I got these because you know when you just you see something that you don't normally see or do you know like you don't always look at the same things and they're on offer so I got them. These make good breakfasts, good snacks, good whatever so I add them for mum so I thought yeah get them. And again for a recipe I've got the cheapest ones. Um, it's for this, it's like they're calling it, I think it's called a Mexican lasagna or something but there's no pasta in it. It's got tortillas in, and they said um, six big ones or eight little ones, but like this is big ones. It says also the wholemeal ones hold together better and they don't fall apart. I prefer wholemeal anyway, so I got them, they're like 80p or something. Some bananas, Ribena, because mine finally ran out this week, and I do love a Ribena. I'm not the biggest fan of the no sugar one, it just has a weird taste to it. I'm sure I bought one. Did I? I think I bought one and I forgot to use it and I had to bin it so yeah I don't have it unless I'm completely blind and I'm looking at it but I can't see it but oh, I've got no like I've got like a like I'm cold and goosebumpy and stuff I don't know how to explain it so I got I got one basically to replace the one that I'd finished I've got two of the oh god I'm pulling it off the side I've got two almond milk unsweetened because I've got a full one in the fridge the Alpo one, and I've got one of these open now. I don't think it's very full, but I did write three on my shopping list. But then I was like, no, you've got some. I've got three 1.2 litre bottles of Pepsi Max because it's free for a three pound. I've got two Highland Spring because there was only two at the front and I couldn't get the ones at the back. I have one in the fridge and that's all I've got, but I do have some 75 centilitre bottles. So I'll have enough, hopefully. I do have three of these, but I obviously didn't have room to put them out. My dad asked for mouthwash. This one was actually slightly on offer. I think they saved 50p, so that's why I chose that one. But it does like Listerine. He likes those that burn your mouth. I got one white grape. Oh, this is back to Audi. I got one white grape and blackberry. Because I've had it before, but I couldn't remember what I thought of it. And I think I've either got five or six peach and passion fruit ones. And that as well as what I've told you that like is not out or it's not here, is what I got. And it came to hundred and like seven pounds. Now, like I said, like those rices I've got for the cupboard, I wouldn't normally get them, but I've got them for the cupboard. Um, I mean, I've got a tin of buddy plum tomatoes for some reason. I don't know what the hell I was doing. The hay fever tablets I wouldn't normally get. I'd normally pop to the shop in the week. Like, I'm probably going to run out tomorrow. I'd probably pop there Monday because I'd probably skip a day. So I would I would have got that another time. So that would have been seven off. The ball was three pounds off, you know. That's like three pound off. So I would have technically spent under 70 because there's also a few things that I wouldn't have normally got. So I think I did really well. I think I could have got more in Aldi. Like I did keep looking at my list and I did look for cornflour. Why can I not find cornflour? Like is someone just buying all the cornflour or something? Like if you are, please don't because <laughs> I want some. I need some. So I'm going to have to do the other recipe if I don't get the cornflour first. And I can't remember which one's got the corn. Oh, yeah, I'm making this. Is it sticky beef and broccoli something? Oh, what we're going to have with it? I don't know. Anyway, and that I think that's what's got the cornflour in. So I need to try and get my hands on some. Um, but I'm hoping I've got enough for the week. I hope I don't need to go in the shop in the week. I've managed to avoid the shop. I think I went the other day because there was something that I forgot. What did I forget? It was something really simple. Something, what was it? Oh, oats. That's the only thing I forgot. So we'll see how I get on this week. I mean, do you know what? I'm going to need Diet Coke because I've got one in the fridge and two out. So that's Saturday and Sunday. I'm going to have to get Diet Coke. I did think, oh, have you got Diet Coke? Oh, you've got a, a big box. No, the big box is now empty. I got enough to last me a month. It was 30 cans. So I'm probably going to have to get, get an 8 pack of Diet Coke in the week. It does. You do save money getting the big one, but I'm not going to get it. So yeah, I am going to have to go and get Diet Coke. But hopefully, like last week, I f hope that I've got enough for the week. But that's it. Well done for watching it this far. If you've watched it this far, I mean, you might not have watched it this far. But if you have, well done. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Sorry, just someone walked past and they were looking at me. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, 
seeing what I've bought. Um, do you know what? I was somewhere the other day and this person was saying, oh, I had to do my own food shop this week and it cost me £30. And she was shocked by it. And I'm thinking, if I went to the shop and just bought my own shopping for a week and it was £30, I'd be elated that it was only £30. Um, I want to know what she bought for £30. Does she buy a lunch? It's like, there's all these questions because she might not buy a lunch. She might go out and buy a lunch, you know, at lunchtime because um, she was at work. She might buy a lunch. She might go out and get it so you know she might not have her lunches in it she might not like she might have a breakfast on the way to work or she might just like have porridge or something like I don't know but I'm thinking if I, mine was 30 pounds like obviously there's two of us so it'd be 60 if it was 60 70 pounds I'd be elated so yeah like is the snacks in it is the drinks in it do you go to the shop every day and top it up with buying stuff like you know there's questions to be asked I don't know how she's done her shopping for 30 pounds like what can you get? We could probably get a decent amount. But obviously I'm getting protein things and, like, they're over a pound each and there's six there. So we're talking about seven pounds there. But I'd love to know what she got and if it, she gets her lunches in it or, like, does she get the drinks? Like, does she drink cold drinks? Does she drink coffees? In fact, she was talking about Starbucks as well and I'm there going, I've not had Starbucks in ages. Um, but I've gone off coffee, so, yeah. Anyway... Any questions, let me know. If you're new to my channel or you just watch these videos but you're not subscribed, please subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell notification button to get an alert every time I upload. I'll be back very soon. Have a great day and thank you for watching.